Chelsea make a couple of changes from their WSL game against Manchester City. Frank Kirby picked up an injury at England training camp, so Sophie Ingle comes back in. Cuthbert will play a little higher. Beth England gets only a third start this season in preference to the Australia World Cup and uh, extend WSL scoring star Sam Kerr, who goes to the bench. Uh, Everton, they're forced into uh, a couple of changes from the cup final defeat. The Wembley goal scorer Valerie Gova was injured. She injured a knee there. Uh, Simon McGill, the Northern Ireland striker, looks to add to her two goals this season. Lucy Graham, I thought she was their best player in the final. Hurt her ankle in the game. Claire Ramsey, who uh, was ineligible uh, last weekend. Uh, so she comes in so talented. Govan came off the bench that day and scored. She's not here today. As the players take the knee in the constant battle by footballers around the world against racism. Almost ready to go. So here we go, WSL football back with us today after a couple of weeks break and uh, Chelsea will certainly put the pressure on the leaders, Arsenal, if they win and Everton would go top, if only for a little while, if they can uh, follow up that 2-1 victory against Chelsea in the Continental Cup a few weeks ago up at uh, Everton. He's steady there. Megan Finnegan had an excellent FA Cup final. Call cool for the ball there from Sandy McKeever. And the goalkeeper is beaten. The hero of Wembley, beaten by G. The clearance came back so very, very quickly. And with a quarter of an hour gone, Chelsea take the lead. The way G So Yun takes this opportunity is, is fantastic to watch. The composure, the skill, the finesse. But not good from Everton's point of view, Laura. No, that's right. It, you know, we saw Chelsea a minute ago, you know, with Anka Chimberga, an unforced mistake, and that and that's the same for McKeever. You know, Beth England does well to, to block the shot, uh, to block the clearance from McIver, but that, you know, she finds the bottom corner, and, and McKeever's always on the back foot. She's got to readjust, get back into her goal, readjust her feet, and that's probably why she didn't have the power to get across that side, but, you know, really un un unforced error, really. Cuthbert. England has gone out wide, Harder's in the middle. And comfortable goalkeeping by Sandy McKeever. And it is, and very disappointing, comes out to G. Straight at the goalkeeper. We've seen G already take, I think that's including the goal, that's the third shot that she's took from that position. She certainly reads the game well and you know in NWSL. And this season she's she's set the light on she's set the league on fire already. So all credit to her and her incredible story. Here she is. That's a lovely ball in as well, and it should have been 1 1. And Izzy Christensen knows it. There's a great vision, great spot. Look, she's, Izzy Christensen's got herself in between the centre back and left back, Anderson. They're not making up, not marking out, not picking her up. I hope it's a fine Sunday for you. A reflective Sunday, perhaps Remembrance Sunday. Here's Beth England. And Cuthbert in support. Back to Ingle. Cross comes into the middle and there's a header there for Beth England that she couldn't keep on target. So here's Sorensen. Then back it goes to Movold down the line. And we turned away by... Oh, Eriksson's made a little bit of an error of judgment there and she had to recover by fouling Emsley. Now, she was a bit lackadaisical. It's going to be Christensen who will take the free kick. Played in short, Rasso into the box. Couldn't get the shot away. Emsley's waiting for it to come back. Here's Christensen with the delivery again into the box. And uh, it's just poked uh, feebly wide in the air. Megan Finnegan up with the attack, the centre back. And Eric's in the big heave ho. G spins away, deflected for a corner. Well, they did make that change at Wembley last week when Patterson came on, turned away into the more central position. They defend that penalty area now. Scuffed away by Rasso. Turn a little harder. Anderson on the run inside. G, a little bit of a gap here for Leupold. Thought about a shot, didn't get it away. Cuthbert does. It's parried and gratefully grasped by Sandy McKeever. And that's the play that we recognise that's probably synonymous with Chelsea. You know, quick, good movement, good rotation. 
and we always see, you know, Erin Cuthbert pops up in these positions and fires a shot. She scored against Tottenham on Tuesday night in the Continental Cup. Any half a chance, she gets a shot away. But that's her first chance that we've seen. Another opportunity here to get it into the box. Lurp box with the turn. The shot gets away. The shot creeps in. And Beth England makes it two for Chelsea. The referee, I think, was thinking about awarding a penalty. Momentarily let play go on. And Chelsea took advantage and lead 2-0. That's probably one of Beth England's harder chances in this game so far. But, you know, look, you can see how happy she is with that because it's a good finish with a non-preferred foot, a left foot. You can see... Lurpos did so well to take the ball away from the defenders and then Beth England does so well to back it up, back up the play. You're right, JP, it would have been a penalty, definite contact there. Egarola it was on Lurpos. Good use of the advantage then by Abigail Byrne, the referee. 2-0 Chelsea lead. And heart ache turns into aching limbs, wearied limbs, sagging shoulders, despondency. Harder to take on Patterson going against the youngster. England with the setup. Cuthbert, oh, good save off the bar, followed up by England, and Chelsea have a third. Poacher's goal this time. You can just see now the the fluidity, the enjoyment, that the freedom that Chelsea are playing with now, just making it look so easy. And all credit to Beth England, because it might have been easier for Emma Hayes to swap Beth England with Sam Kerr, maybe on the 60-minute mark. But she stayed on the pitch and exactly look at the confusion and havoc that she's causing. Ill fortune for Sandy McKeever, who made a decent save initially here to deny Cuthbert, because it was hit with power. Ellie. Off the bar, drop down, and England pokes it in. Tidy finish, scored uh, when they beat Everton here in January of 2019 in the last meeting here in the WSL. They won that game 3-0. Here's G. And off goes Jona Anderson. England in the middle now on a hat-trick. Oh. She'll score from harder chances than that. And look, it's, it's not often that, you, you know, not recently does Beth England miss a chance like that and get up smiling because she's already scored two. She knows what a great opportunity that would have been. But all of a sudden you can see her confidence cracked up, cranked up now. But again, I mentioned Anderson's delivery from, from the, those left wide areas. Absolutely fantastic on a plate for Beth England. And that, that really should have been a hat trick. Emma Hayes will be understanding of the smiling reaction if Chelsea go on to win the game. Look of a player that uh, is focused and really driven. And there she is again. So what does this game tell us about the WSL at the moment then, Laura? Well, I think it tells us about Chelsea that, you know, they have a great depth in squad. They can, you know, be missing two players and it, and it doesn't affect them. You saw in some of the crossing. I think it shows us how defensively astute and robust they are, you know, to come up against this Everton team who have scored a lot of goals so far in the WSL and, and to keep a clean sheet. You know, it, it just shows them that, you know, they, they have such a solid foundation and, and rock to build on. Christensen with the corner. Can they get something out of the game? Everton, Chelsea will want a clean sheet, that's for certain. Pernil Harder. Get back, clear, drop back. A glittering star in a star-studded WSL. Looks for another. Sam Kerr. Strokes the pass in to Fleming. Look at the yellow shirts back there. Everton have worked hard throughout the game, but haven't had enough in the final third. Harder gliding onto it. It's a shot away brilliantly. That's the best goal of the game. Chelsea 4, Everton 0. That scoreline might be flattering, but it's a fantastic way to finish a very good day for Chelsea. Last week, Sandy McKeever, a real hero at Wembley, but today at fault for the first and beaten by three more. And Chelsea 4, Everton 0 is the scoreline.
what a goal this is. She drives at the heart of the Everton defence and Beth England, you know, she does really well as a focal centre forward. She just knows that Harder wants it back. And believe it or not, that's a weaker foot. That's a non-preferred foot from Harder. But the angle that she does, she gets her hips round so it curls away from McKeever all, all the time. I don't think any, any goalkeeper's stopping that in this league. And job is done. Chelsea have won it by four goals to nil. Harder's goal, the final gloss on a terrific victory for them. G scored in the first quarter of an hour. They had to wait until the 73rd minute when Beth England scored the second and the third just a minute and 54 seconds later. And Pernil Harder, that's a really good goal to round off a very good victory for Chelsea, whose decent run goes on here. They have lost just one in 21 games. That was against Everton in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. But today they've got their revenge, winning here very, very comfortably.